Uh, hello, I'm Bonan. Uh, in this video, I need to show you how to check the thermistor reading, the evaporator coil, discharge and suction pipe thermistor reading, and how to check the faulty thermistor, the faulty thermistor reading. I will show you the abnormal temperature reading. I will show you again the data after replace the new thermistor. For the thermistor reading, it's very important. If the reading abnormal can cause or affect the LED valve, open or close abnormal. If the thermistor, if the suction pipe thermistor reading is very high, the LED will fully open, like this case. The suction pipe temperature going up to 41. And the LED valve is fully open. Panasonic, you can collect the data using the checker. The checker is show the checker. And computer. And computer. Or you can check the data using the wire remote control. I will show you how to using wire remote control to check the Mr. reading and LED reading. Okay. This is a Panasonic checker. Now we check the evaporator coil, the Mr. reading. FCU number one, the disaster thermistor, and return thermistor temperature is a lot different. This is abnormal. This reading is abnormal, and this can cause the MOV valve or LEV valve a fully open. Okay, for this chart, we can see the E3, 41.5. This reading at normal, actually we call the thermistor 40. This can cause the MOV valve fully open. Okay, means the thermistor reading is very important. We are affected the MOV fully open. No. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Go take meter line. Yeah. Done, done, take meter, done. Okay, one more clear. Multi meter. Ah. One more clear, also take. Well, this you just, uh, this is new thermistor. Check the new thermistor reading. Five kilo ohm, right? Yeah. Okay, it's correct because the room temperature is around twenty-five. Okay. Can. Okay, right, Mister. 
Are we ready? No. Uh, this is a forty thermistor reading. Okay. This is section point for the thermistor. Yeah, E3, right? E3, yeah. Yes. Okay. 9.6. Mm, this is a new thermistor reading 4.9. Okay, you should show one more time, you rest the 40 thermistor reading. 8.7 Okay This one is a 40 mm, This is 40 thermistor This is a new thermistor Where is the suction pipe? Thermistor Location is here Okay The thermistor the location is here This is they research in front anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow, this one. Great. Okay, this is research to Mister. Okay, suction to Mister. Yeah. Okay, you plug. Plug in there. Okay, fix area. Yeah, fix. Where you can test RS? Uh, this is a first A pocket. Uh. Fine. Oh, fine. This for first A. Uh. Okay, cover the ceiling first one. The the reading increase huh? now the cut now the what E3. now already cut off right mm -hmm. twenty mm oh, yeah the system already cut off and the coil reading is going up this is a uh, 
after replace the thermistor for unit number one. replace the thermistor. Now I need to show you how to check the thermistor reading. The evaporator coil thermistor reading. This we on the unit. The indoor unit address is 1 dash 1. We confirm the indoor unit address. Just press the unit. Yeah, it's correct. You, indoor unit is 1 dash 1. Okay. Okay, press the tools and the cancel button. Okay, we go to 02, room temperature, this is evaporator coil, this is pipe, this is pipe, thermistor reading, this is a return pipe, thermistor reading, this is resus A, thermistor reading, this is LEV reading. Before the reading is 480, it's fully open. This is after replace the thermistor. Now it's 110. Okay, 08 is MOV, MOV valve reading. This is A. Return pipe thermistor reading. This is pipe thermistor reading. Room temperature. Okay, if done, just press the tools to exit. Okay, how we check the error code history? Okay, press the tools and the set button. Okay, no error code. Error code will show at the display. Press the tools, exit. Okay. 